You won't hear it coming, you won't see the strike, you'll only feel the water tear and the blood rising after it's already too late. But here's the real question. How does something survive for decades when the only rule is kill or be killed? The answer's coming in a second. This is the Great Barracuda, six feet of violent survival where speed, teeth, and venom erase anything that flinches. A silver missile built from bone, blade, and wire-taut muscle. It hangs in the current, not invisible but too fast to matter. Blink once and it detonates. 36 miles per hour in a body honed like a weapon, snapping jaws in less than two hundredths of a second. Faster than you can scream, faster than you can even feel, its twin rows of dagger teeth don't just puncture, they shear prey apart like scissors through silk. One snap, one severed fish, one flash of silver, and the body's already falling in two. Found across tropical oceans from Florida's drowned wrecks to the blood-warm reefs of the Red Sea, barracudas haunt the shallows like living torpedoes, even sharks hesitate. Because when a barracuda is cornered, it doesn't flee. It attacks, slashing gills, gouging eyes, leaving predators blind, bleeding and lost in their own blood cloud, and even if they're killed, their bodies fight back. The older a barracuda grows, the more its flesh rots with ciguatera toxin, a nerve-twisting venom that scrambles heat, cold, hunger, pain, until you can't trust anything your body tells you. Eat the wrong barracuda and you don't just lose control, you lose yourself. When they spawn, it's chaos without mercy. Males and females explode into open water hurling millions of eggs into a battlefield where hesitation means extinction. Flash something shiny, a watch, a camera, and you might trigger the ocean's fastest, bloodiest mistake. Earlier we asked, how does something survive where hesitation is death? It survives by striking first, killing without warning and making sure nothing ever strikes back. Like if this rewired everything you thought ruled the reefs. Follow, before your own reflection is the next thing they strike. And now you know. Stay curious.